Hello, this is Lisa from Embrilliance, and today I am going to show you how to use the various display views of Density Repair Kit. This will allow you to really look at your design before you go to the machine. And with this information, you can better select the type of stabilizer to use, whether or not you may need an extra layer, or sometimes you may simply decide to find a different design to stitch. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here is a design sent in to us by a customer. Based upon my years of embroidery experience, I knew this design was trouble right off the bat. Let me show you how Density Repair Kit can give you the same insight no matter what your experience level is. First, let's use the heads-up display to maximize our view of the design. The Density Map is a toggle button that scrolls through the various stitch views. The first view is a graphical display of the design's density. Think of this as a weather map where the, as the temperature gets hotter, so do the colors. A single layer of stitching will show as a cool blue, and as the number of layers of stitching increases, so will the temperature of the colors, from green to yellow and finally red. Most often the red areas are clumps and can be eliminated by using the sweep. A small amount of red is to be expected in any design where colors butt up against each other or overlap. With flat fill areas of this rather simple design, you would expect there to be a cooler temperature, that is, large areas of blue. However, as you can see, this design skips the cool blue and starts out warm with a significant amount of green. This visual representation of color is a spot-on giveaway that there will be issues stitching this design. Just for comparison, let's look at the design after using the Project Advisor to adjust the density for a lighter weight fabric like linen. Notice the temperature change, a significant increase in the amount of blue displayed and a decrease in the amount of red hotspots. Let's undo the adjustments and go back to the original design. Click on the Density Map button a second time to be taken to the wireframe display. We just saw the temperature map of the design Think of this as an x-ray. At this zoom, you can see the glowing areas. Lots of thread activity going on here, so it's another visual of those hot spots or congested areas. The real benefit of this view is being able to see the padding and underlay stitches. Yes, think of it as seeing the skeleton of the embroidery design. Zoom in closely and you can see that there is no perpendicular underlay around the edge border of this design. No foundation to hold these stitches in place, so you may get pulling and distortion. By using the visual tools of Density Repair Kit, you are now armed with valuable information about how the design will stitch even before doing a test sew. Here is our stitch out showing the distortion caused by the excessive stitches and zero underlay. After running the DRK Project Advisor, the resulting design stitched significantly smoother. Which would you rather stitch? Thanks for spending some time with us today. More information on this topic and others can be found in the Users Forum on our website. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.